Okay, say your liver's feeling a bit peaky after the weekend, or more seriously, you've lost a leg or an arm in an accident. The idea of turning on your printer and getting a new organ or limb is super attractive and sci-fi, right? Well, maybe not because this is exactly what some people are trying to do with 3D printing, and it has the potential to be amazing. First, a little bit of background about 3D printing. You've almost certainly heard of it. Your local nerd probably owns his own 3D printed X-Wing, but people have been using them to make jewelry and trainers and even robots. And the science behind 3D printing pretty simple. Nozzles lay down a layer of material, usually melted plastic, although metals and other materials can be used. Now this thin layer solidifies and the printer moves on, adding the next layer on top of it. And the layers build up to create a three-dimensional shape, sort of like a stack of pancakes, but less delicious, unfortunately. Binder 3D printing is similar, but it uses two products, like a powder and a liquid that combine to make a solid when they're mixed. 3D printers are great because you can program them to make almost any shape anywhere. Useful if you need something very specific and it's hard to get parts to you. For example, you might need them in space. Yep, that's right, they've used 3D printers on the International Space Station, making specific tools via designs beamed up from Earth. 3D printers are so cool. They're also great in medicine. 3D printed titanium hip joints made to order replacement bones and other 3D printed synthetic body parts made $537 million in 2014. But that was mostly for non-living things. Some people want to take their technology further to make even more personal things like replacement organs. By loading the printer with biological materials, they hope to print living tissue. And if they used cells from the recipient, then the new organ would be identical to their old one and not run the risk of being rejected by the body. So is it possible? Well, 3D printing has already been used to make and transplant layers of living material, including skin, bone, and heart tissue. But scaling up to whole body parts is tricky. There's a whole body of problems that need to be solved before you can make a large, stable, complicated structure like a liver. For one thing, there's the problem of strength. It's hard to print with this squishy biological stuff as 3D printing works best when there is a firm structure to print onto. Saying that though, in 2015, researchers at Carnegie Mellon University hacked a MakerBot 3D printer to work better with soft material, so progress is being made. Then there's the second problem, vascularization. You might be able to lay down lots of cells, but it's harder to build up blood vessels. Researchers from Sydney and Harvard University though have managed to print capillaries, but at the moment, this is still an area that needs lots more work. The biggest breakthrough in printing body parts was arguably the one made earlier this year when researchers at Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine kept a baby-sized 3D printed ear alive on a mouse for two months. Yes, really, they got around the problems with strength and vascularization by using a biodegradable material to support the tissue as it grew, and by using a lattice-like structure that enabled nutrients to get in while the blood vessels were still growing. Oh, and the ear didn't just survive, it actually formed new cartilage tissue and blood vessels, successfully joining the mouse. So, yes, you can print body parts, and maybe one day, this technology will be commonplace, but it's unlikely you'd have a 3D body part printer in your office. But you know what? You might have one in your kitchen. Yep. Once we figure out body parts, many people think 3D printed meat is the next step. It would be kinder and more environmentally friendly and could also be really convenient. It's a long way off, but the future could not only be delicious, you could also print yourself a meaty snack in the shape of, well, anything. So if you could 3D print a body part, what body part would you choose? Put it in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you like what we do and you haven't subbed yet. And maybe also check out this film. It's when I went to have a look at what humans taste of and it involved removing a bit of my leg. Ouch. Lasers. They make everything better, right? From Bond films to nightclubs to your actual eyes. But wait, how does that laser eye surgery actually work? Aren't we told we're supposed to avoid looking directly at bright lights? Well, it helps to know a little bit more about how lasers work first. Think 